All right, everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Today is Saturday. And hope you're having a good time, relaxing, doing whatever you want to do on a Saturday, and, and that you're not having to work. I've got the day off, so I'm enjoying that. I'll be off tomorrow also. So I'm just swimming right along. And I want to apologize. Um, it's not like me to put out videos back to back like this on two consecutive days. <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> okay, to the reason for the video. I was recently asked about removing the title bar uh, from certain applications on OpenBox. Now, I had shown in a, a few videos back about how to remove the title bar from certain applications on JWM. And then later on, I was asked about OpenBox. And before I go any further, I have to give all credit to my good friend Tinker, <laughs> Tinker, Tinker for fun and autonomy, because he's the one that really turned me on to doing this. Uh, I'd seen that he had removed the title bar from his terminal. So I decided, man, I'd like to do that. So that's Ever since then, that's what I've been doing, for the most part. Um, I've done it here on this one. Let me go ahead and open the terminal. And you'll see no title bar. I have it appearing in the center of the screen. So even if I open another terminal, it's going to appear right there on top of that one. So let me close that one and that one. So how do we remove title bars from applications? Well. That's done through your RCXML file. So let's open that. And let me make the font larger. Go to, uh, I'll do 18 again. That might be too big. Let's try 16. Yeah, I think that's easy enough to see for you guys. Um, so what you want to do all the way, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll, you'll be in the Applications section. Now this, see if I can find where it starts without going way past it. Alright, here's where it starts. So, what this is, it's, it's starting the actual application section. But then a lot of this stuff through down through here is commented out because he's explaining what you need to do. And the way to remove a title bar is to use um, OBX prop because you have to find out what open box is naming the window you want to remove the title bar from, if that makes sense. So Let's say, what can I do? Um, you know, I really don't like having a title bar on Firefox, so I think I'll use that as an example. So let me just, I'm not going to close this. Let me minimize this, and I'll open up Firefox. Again, this is that new, uh, that new install of Mio Linux Saluta Simplice that I showed the last video on. So I really don't have much on here, but I do have Firefox, which you saw me install. So let me open that. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, no, it covered my face. But that's okay. Yeah, I really don't care for having this title bar on Firefox. So what we need to do, whatever the application is that you want to remove the title bar from, go ahead and open it. Okay, and leave it open on your screen. And then you'll want to open your terminal. You need to run OBX prop. And I guess that stands for open box properties, but I can't say that for sure. That's just a guess of mine. So what we have, you run obx prop, you don't have to do it as root, and hit enter. 
And I don't know if you can, you see that, I call it a precision pointer. See that plus sign moving around? What you want to do is take this plus sign and just click on whatever the window or application is that you want to remove a title bar from. So we have Firefox opened in behind here. So I'm going to move this pointer over here. You can still see it moving. And I think you can just basically click anywhere on that application. So I'm going to click it and you'll see a, well here, let me, if it's not too late. Okay. Let's go one more because I want you to see all the information it's going to throw up here. So I'm going to click anywhere on Firefox. Oh, and look at all that. Now what we need to look for, let me pull up my RCXML file. We want the application name for whatever the window is, and we need to find it under this right here, OB app name. Okay, so we need to look for OB app name. And I'm not seeing it down here on the bottom, so I'm going to scroll way back up to the top. Here we are. And here, Navigator. <laughs> okay. For some strange reason, I thought it'd probably be Firefox, but no, it's called Navigator with a capital N. You need to pay attention to that, whether the first letter is capitalized or not. So the app name is Navigator. Okay. So let me move this. Well, I don't need this. I will just minimize it. Pull back my RCXML file. And down here you see I've already done Sakura. I've done GUVC view. I have both of them appearing where I want them to appear on the screen. So, as long as you stay inside this last closing argument for the application section, you just need to make sure to do that. So let's we'll skip a line and go over and we will do a arrow application name equals uh, what was it? <laughs> Navigator. Okay. With a capital N. Navigator. Inside quotes and the right arrow. Come down a line. Go about right here. That's good enough for me. Decor in small letters. No. And then close it. Decor. And then close the application argument. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to close Firefox. And oh, hello, I'm back. And then I'm going to, now you can restart OpenBox. It usually works with just a reconfigure. Reconfigure OpenBox. Let's try it. See if it works. See if we get a Firefox with no title bar. It worked. It worked. We can do it, Dan. We can do it. Okay, but now how are you going to close this? Well, <laughs> there's different ways. Uh, you can close the tab. That would close it. You can come over here to uh, the hamburger menu and hit quit. There's also a control Q a keyboard shortcut. Or in Mio Linux, I have the super key, which is the Windows key plus C to close any application that's open. Or I also have 
On Mio Linux, if you right click an application down here on the bar or the panel, it will close it. So, I mean, there's still tons of ways you, you can close an application with no title bar. All right. There we go. I hope that helped uh, the person who asked. And I was just going to respond to them, but I thought I will make a video just in case someone else might be interested in this. So, hope you guys have a great weekend. And Tinker, thank you so much for turning me on to these no title bars. I really enjoy doing that. And you guys take care. Thanks a lot.